Hey everyone, just a quick word before we get started on this beer review. If you're interested in purchasing any of these beers that you see on my channel, stick around to the end of the video and I will tell you where you can purchase them at online. Now isn't that lovely? Have beer shipped right to your home and don't have to go anywhere. All right, enjoy the video. Cheers to that. Welcome, my friends. Thanks so much for stopping by once again as we sample some more great-tasting American craft beers with Dr. D. Fabulous indeed. Now for our sampling pleasures and tasting delights today. Man, I haven't had this beer in a while. It's been a minute, but we're going to have it today. It's from the Lazy Magnolia Brewing Company located in Kiln, Mississippi. Now, they don't have that many microbrews in Mississippi, so I feel honored to get this one. And this is the original Pecan Nut Brown Ale. Ale brewed with roasted pecans. Checks in, I believe it's 4.5% 4, 4 alcohol by volume. I wrote it down. Yep, 4.5%. Can't remember things these days. That's what happens when you get old. Yeah. Well, hey, I don't have this bottle cap, so let me go ahead and put my dollar. Yeah, I got a Susan B. Anthony dollar. You just don't see a whole lot of them anymore. It's legal tender, but you just don't see a lot of them anymore. So I don't have that. I will put it on my fridge. And uh, let's use this glassware right here, this conic-shaped inverted glassware right here. Now, these glasses are expensive because they're real crystal. <laughs> yeah. yeah, if you got kids or pets, beware. So we got to pour it in rather slowly because it will build up a lot of foam. Go ahead and pour it in. We're still going to get a lot of foam, even though we took our time with it. Mm, look at all that liquid loveliness coming out of there. All right. Oh, it's a very beautiful ruby color. Now, on the camera, it may not look ruby, but here it is. I'm looking right through this beer into the next monitor over there. Beautiful. And look at the foam on that beer. Man, that is looking lovely. Huh? Whoa. Man. Yeah, it's got some nice carbonation flowing up. You can't see that either. Oh, man. Let's get some aroma on this beer because I haven't had this in a really long time. Now, it's a, a nutty aroma, but I necessarily would not say it's pecans. I would not say it's, Now, some people say pecans. Some people say pecans. I guess it just depends on what part of the country you're from. <laughs> what can I tell you? Some definite malt in there, though. Hey, let's go ahead and drink the beer. But we're going to have to thank the brewers there in Kiln, Mississippi, at the Southern Pecan. I'm sorry. The Lazy Magnolia. I said Southern Pecan. Cut off. Yeah, the Lazy Magnolia Brewery. Man, I would like to have some of their other beers, but I've never seen them around here. I was just lucky to get this. Somebody sent it to me. So, And they want to remain anonymous, so I will not mention names. <laughs> I will not tell a lie. All right, and hey, thanks to everybody who made this beer possible, and cheers. Mmm, mm, now that tastes a lot different than the last time I had it. Mmm, those pecans really come through in the flavor. Wow, not so much in the aroma, but they're coming through in that flavor. Mmm. Mmm. Man. Now, a beer like this, I would expect it to be a little more substantial in the body. I'm not going to say this is thin body because I only reserve that for the very worst of the beers. But this is a very light bodied beer. Light bodied beer with light carbonation, but it's got a whole lot of flavor from those pecans. Mm. Man, is that good. Yeah, this is lip smacking good. I bet you at the brewery on tap, this is really killer. Now, this is not the type of beer that I would drink two, three, four, five of. Nah, this would be a, a beer I would have one of. And it would probably be the finisher for the evening. As a matter of fact, this is the finisher for the evening. And um, 
it's a very good beer, though. I, I like the flavor of this beer. It's just not it's not a, a beer that I would sit around and drink all day. It's just not. No. I do like this beer. Again, from the Lazy Magnolia Brewery out of Kiln, Mississippi, the Southern Pecan Nut Brown Ale. Man, I'll tell you, if you get a chance to try this, I think you'll really like it. It's something a little bit different with beer. Now, this is not going to be for everybody, but I tell you what, man, it's got some nice malts in here, too. They're not roasted. They're not toasted. They're just a little bit of, of uh, sweet malt in here to go along with that pecan. Mmm. Man, it's quite lovely indeed. Quite lovely indeed. All right. Hey, life is short. Let's try new things like this beer right here from Lazy Magnolia out of Kiln, Mississippi. I think you'll like it. Try it. You'll like it, right? Uh, with that said, my friends, until we meet next time, here's wishing all of you the very best of goodbyes. <laughs> As always, cheers. Okay, everyone. As promised, Dr. Dave's going to tell you where he buys his beers and where you can buy them also. First on the list is RivalryBrews.com. Now, don't worry. I'm going to put the links in the description box for you. Rivalry Brews is a relatively new mail order place. It's based right here in Ohio in Medina. And they are fantastic. I tell you what, when they first started, I got free shipping on all the beers. Now, I think they, they charge me $2.00. $2 for 12 beers. That's fantastic. Now, as far as I know, they ship to the lower 48, but you might want to check the website on that. I can't be 100% sure. But the shipping is fast. The turnaround is fast. And if anything's wrong, they will fix it right away. I only had one issue with them, and they refunded half my purchase order, which I thought was more than fair. More than fair. So anyway, uh, by the way, disclaimer, I don't get any money on any of this. I'm not affiliated with any of these beer companies. They don't know I'm doing this. I'm just telling you where to buy the beer. Now, one day I may be affiliated, and if I am at that point, I'll certainly let you know. So Rivalry Brews, located right here in Ohio, they specialize in Ohio beers, uh, beers from Pennsylvania and Indiana. So if you want some good Ohio craft beer, that's a good place to start. The second one on my list, oh, I love this place. It's called Halftime Beer. Halftime Beer has two locations in New York State, Poughkeepsie, and I believe it's pronounced Mamoronic. Mamoronic. Yeah, don't quote me on that pronunciation. I tried my best. Yeah, anyway. They have more beer online than you could possibly look at in a day. I'm telling you, they have beer everywhere on that website. And all you have to do is go on there, make your selection, and have it shipped. Now, they do have gift boxes, which come with a really nice cooler. Yeah, and uh, you can't beat it. It's $5 shipping on those uh, special orders. Now, on the other beers, the shipping can get a little bit pricey, but I've never had an order for more than $20 shipping, which I think is really good for 12 bottles of beer. Now, if you get cans, it's less cost because it, less, it weighs less, uh, and that's what costs the money is the weight and the size of the box. So, yeah, check them out. Now, I belong to two of their uh, what's known as Beer of the Month Club. I'm in their German beer of the month club so i get 12 bottles from six different breweries two of each once a month and there's a lot of beers in there that i've never heard of from germany i thought i had them all not even close and then i have the around the world beer club which is exactly what it sounds like it's beers from all over the world so far i only got one beer that i didn't really like uh you know it happens it happens, and, uh, you know, you take your chances on that. But uh, I got some beer from South Korea, of all places, South Korea. I thought it was really, really good. Now, last on the list, but not least, and I didn't put these in any particular order, it's the Best Damn Beer Shop. Now, they're out of San Diego, and they have a killer selection, I'm telling you. Matter of fact, talking about all this beer, I'm going to have to have one here. Mm. That's just a regular run-of-the-mill Pilsner, German style, but it hits the spot on a day like this. Anyway, best damn beer shop. 
Woo. Now, their shipping, they require you to uh, choose in lots of six. So you can get six, 12, 18, 24 is the maximum. And uh, their shipping is reasonable considering I'm on the East Coast and they're on the West Coast. Yeah, the shipping is generally about $19 for a 12 bottle selection, which I don't think is a lot. $19? No, I don't think that's a lot. Now, the more beer you buy, the less money it's going to cost. That's just a fact of economics. So if you want to buy six beers, it's going to cost more to ship it than the 12. Hey, I, I don't make the rules, man. Just buy more beer. You save more money on shipping. What can I tell you? Yeah, but they're a great place. And uh, so all, all three of those places, Rivalry Brews uh, for Ohio beers. And then you have the uh, Halftime Beverage, which is in New York. They have a selection on everything. And same thing with Best Damn Beer Shop. Now, if you want some West Coast beers that you can't find in your town, that's the place to buy them at. Last but not least, people always ask me, what is that on your beer glass? Well, I bought it at Amazon, Amazon Amazon.com. It's called a Vacuvin, Vacuvin. And if I'm not mistaken, it's from uh, Sweden, if I'm not mistaken. And the inside of it is lined with special material. So what you do is you put this in the freezer, you let it sit overnight, and then you put your beverage in here. And it will maintain that beverage at around 38 degrees, which is really cold for a beer. But I like my pills just cold. Now, if you already have a beer that warmed up, put it in here and it'll bring it to the proper temperature, no doubt. And I said last, but I I was mistaken. This is the last thing I want to talk about. Uh, Dr. Day's beer glasses. Now, I did sell these a number of years ago when I had my other beer channel. and. This is a new design, though. This is a different design. Now, I could sell these if there's enough interest in them, but I have to order them uh, about 144 at a time. So I don't want to order them unless there's some real interest in them. Now, it's difficult to see on here, but it says Dr. Dave's Cheap-Ass Beer Reviews. Yeah, uh, it's not really going to come out that well there on the camera, but I would sell these uh, at cost. Now, I'm not trying to make any money on them. I think it cost me fourteen ninety eight to uh, to have those made. So I would sell them at the same price. Now I don't know if the price could have gone up because I did buy those a few years back. So, but I would sell them at cost if anybody's interested. But uh, like I said, I don't get any money off these links. There's no affiliate uh, affiliate links here. I'm not making any money. I just wanted to let everybody know where I buy my beer so you could buy it too. Oh, and you know I almost forgot. The Amazing Clubs Beer of the Month Club. Amazing Clubs. I'll put all the links in the description box. Knock yourself out. Hey, thanks for watching, okay? And Dr. Dave says cheers to that.